Hello and welcome. My name is Telman Knutsen with The New Hypnotists, and I'm very, very proud to bring this New Year's resolution hypnosis session to you here today. This is the second time we've done the New Year's resolution revolution. I hope you absolutely love it. When we created it the first time, it actually ended up being so popular, and all of the folks on my list and my newsletter liked it so much that we ended up deciding to start an entire hypnosis company. So this time last year, the new hypnotists didn't even exist. Now we are 100% using the power of the internet to help people with hypnosis all around the world, reaching folks that simply wouldn't have had access to hypnosis otherwise, helping you right now, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all using these amazing video hypnosis sessions. So I'm very, very proud and excited to be bringing this to you a year later where I'm creating this just before the first of the year and the new hypnotist is super, super, super excited at all of the progress we've made. We've just recently launched hypnosis.com and we created a whole self-hypnosis program and we've helped a lot of people with hypnosis and wealth and abundance who really wanted to bring more money into their lives. We released a program on overcoming fear, fear of success, fear of failure. We released a great great weight loss program, we've launched Hypnosis Magazine, we've uh, just done all sorts of things with the help of you. Oh, and not to mention the Hypnosis event, the world's largest hypnosis teleseminar series, where I got a chance to interview the top 24 hypnotists on the planet. So it's been a really, really, really exciting year. We've done a lot of great things and you've been part of it the whole way. So thank you for being such a great supporter of everything we're working on. Hopefully you've gotten a lot out of it. And if the new hypnotist is brand new to you, you are going to love what's coming up here in the very near future. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get started. Be before we get rolling, there are a few things that I really want you to know. I'm going to assume that this is the first time you've ever been hypnotized and that you don't have any experience with hypnosis. So if that's the case, number one is you can't be listening to this if you're on the phone or if you're driving or you're doing anything that requires requires your focus or attention. You're probably going to get very, very, very relaxed over the course of the hypnosis session. And I wouldn't want you to inadvertently do harm to yourself or anyone else. So what I would like you to do is if you're driving, shut this off and wait until you're home where you can sit down in a comfortable chair, where you can lay down on a comfortable bed or couch and let everyone in your home or your office environment know not to bother you for about 45 minutes. Okay, you're going to want to get as relaxed as humanly possible. The second thing that I really want you to focus on doing here during our time together is I'd like you to plug in some headphones if you have any. Earbuds will do, full ear cup. Headphones are amazing in order to block out outside distractions and really focus on improving yourself right now. I wanna make sure that you have your bladder empty. So if you don't, if your bladder hasn't been emptied recently, I'd like you to go pause this session and go to the bathroom and come on back as soon as you're done with that and we'll go ahead and get started. I'll, I'll just wait here for a second while you do that. Okay, so you should be back now and I would recommend maybe taking a little sip of a, a sip of water before you get really relaxed and so on. So if you're if you've been hypnotized by me or someone else many times before, you'll you'll find this process very 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 familiar. And if not, and this is your first time going into hypnosis, you are going to absolutely love it. So a few things, again, before we get started, if you're driving, if you're doing anything that requires your attention or focus, if you're operating any heavy machinery, is what everyone always says, but really it, it's common sense. If you're doing anything that if you stop paying attention to it, you could hurt yourself or you could hurt someone else, then I'd like you to stop with this session right now. And with that said, there are a couple common questions about hypnosis that I want to go over with you. But before I do, this session is about setting your New Year's resolution and sticking to it, making it a reality. I think you're going to absolutely love what you're about to experience. So what I'd like to do right now is to talk a little bit about goal setting because there are lots of different ways to set goals. There are lots of different schools of thought about setting goals. And so what I'd like to give you is the opportunity to set a goal that's measurable. So when you're setting your New Year's resolution, you want to set something that's measurable that you can steadily work toward. And you can see undoubtedly, definitively, that you have accomplished it. So what does it mean to set a measurable goal? Well, the first thing that you're, uh, it means to set a measurable goal is that it's measurable. 
right? That means it needs to either be a number or it needs to be a event that can either be a date or it can be a yes or no, this event took place. For example, my New Year's resolution is to run an ultra marathon barefoot. Okay, that's a pretty clear New Year's resolution. That's it. It's to run an ultra marathon barefoot. So cool. Now, what's another example of a New Year's resolution? I'm going to lose 30 pounds. Good, but not quite good enough. What are you going to weigh when you've achieved your New Year's resolution? Your weight minus 30 pounds. So what I would recommend is that you say, I've achieved goal weight, okay? The, the other thing that is a really, really helpful thing, instead of saying, I'm going to lose 30 pounds, you say, I weigh 170 pounds if you're starting at 200, right? I weigh 170 pounds. So state it as if it's already occurred. State it as if it's already occurred. Because if it's already occurred, simply put, it's a lot easier for your brain to wrap around and for habits to start forming unconsciously that will allow you to achieve it. So state it as if it's already happened. Set a goal that's measurable. Only one number though. I highly recommend against setting a date for it to have happened by. And the reason is because sometimes life gets in the way and you don't want to get discouraged. You want to absolutely keep working towards your goal. Even if the full year goes by, you still want to hit that, right? So I weigh 170 pounds. Great goal, okay? I've run my first ultra marathon barefoot. Great goal, pretty insane, but pretty pretty great goal, right? What what is another example of of goal? Um I am smoke free. I am smoke free, right? I have quit smoking, right? Successfully. So, what I'd like what I'd like you to do is just think that through when you're setting your goal. Now, before you start the session, I'd like you to set a goal. Now, here's the thing about goals. You can always change them later. That's the reality. So I'd like you to write down your goal on a piece of paper right now beside you. Write it down, and if you're on your computer and you don't have any paper, open up a little text pad or notepad document and just type it out. Type out your goal that today you would really like to set and you would love to have achieved by the new year, right? You would love to achieve in the next 365 days. Just write a goal. It's measurable. Either it's a date that's occurred uh, or an event that's occurred. Um, Here's one is, I'm married. Great. What are you? You are married. You got married. Congratulations. That's great news, right? So think about setting a goal that is measurable either by date or an event that has happened or by a number in, in the case of weight. Or another great example is I ran a 18-minute 5K race. Well, there it is. You didn't say what the date was that you ran it on because there are a whole bunch of different dates that you could do that. You may or may not run it that fast your first time through, right? But you're going to continually work toward it until you hit it. And that way you're constantly making progress no matter what, even if you have some hiccups along the way. Because inevitably, anything you get good at, anything you succeed at, you have to overcome a great deal of obstacles on the way. Otherwise, you would have already succeeded at it, right? So you have to understand that when you're nailing these obstacles off one at a time, sometimes, believe it or not, you will be faced with failure. Sometimes you won't nail it the first time. You may not nail any of those obstacles successfully the first time, and that's perfectly fine. The question isn't, did you do it successfully the first time? The question is, did you keep going? Did you keep dusting yourself off, getting up, and keep moving forward, keep moving forward, and paying attention to your progress? Yes, you did. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get started with hypnosis. I don't care whether you go into a deep or a light state of hypnosis. In fact, I'm not concerned with whether you go into hypnosis at all during this first session together. If you're familiar with hypnosis, if you are an experienced meditator, if you do a lot of self-hypnosis, then you will probably go into hypnosis more easily. If this is your first time going into hypnosis, you may find that you're natural and you instantly go into that wonderfully relaxed, calm and comfortable state where time just kind of drifts by. It's a great, great place to be. It's the most relaxing place in the whole wide world. And maybe you'll go into it immediately. And maybe you'll just stick your 
big toe in or your pinky toe in just to test the water a little bit this first time through. That's okay with me too. But whatever is the case for you, if you have some headphones, again, put them on your ears. I'd like you to go ahead and take a nice, slow, deep breath in through your nose. And as you exhale, just go ahead and close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, just begin to allow yourself to relax. And as you do, begin to allow yourself to relax more and more, allowing yourself to become more calm, more comfortable, and more complete mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially. I'd like you to think about a goal that you would like to achieve in the coming year. I'd like you to think about a goal that you would like to achieve in the coming year. And I'd like you to flip-flop that goal around in your head so that you're stating it mentally or even out loud as if it's already happened. I weigh 150 pounds. I ran my first ultramarathon barefoot. I spent 30 weekends with my family this year. You see how easy it is? I made $250,000 this year. Or I made $1 million this year. That's it. So I'd like you to start by thinking about that goal that you'd like to achieve. Don't worry if it's not perfect and it needs improvement. You can always improve it later. That's really easy to do. What I'd like you to do, with your eyes closed, breathing in deeply and out completely, I'd like you to slowly, just slowly now, begin to imagine. Begin to imagine a golden disc. A golden disc of liquid light spinning up the top of your head that's about the size of a quarter. And as it spins more and more, it stretches out more and more and slowly begins to cover your scalp. Your scalp is bathed in warming, comforting liquid light, just allowing you all the focus that you need, all the relaxation that you need, everything that you need to focus your mind and body completely on achieving exactly what you'd like to achieve in the coming year. And as you begin to relax from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, that gold and liquid light slowly spreading out, comforting, calming each and every pore, each and every nerve, each and every cell in your body, completely, totally, and thoroughly. As you begin to relax more and more with each and every sound of my voice that you notice now down, relaxing, deeper, even deeper now, down and across the scalp, relaxing all of the muscles, all of the nerves in the scalp completely, allowing yourself to go into the most relaxed, calm and comfortable state that you possibly can enter right now, down, deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. In this wonderfully relaxed, calm, and comfortable state down and across the forehead, relaxing all of the creases away, relaxing all of the muscles, all of the cells across the forehead, down, down, down and into the temples, spiraling that wonderful golden relaxation into the temples down, down, down and into the ears, allowing all the nerves and the muscles, the small muscles deep, deep, deep within the ear and all of the tension, all of the nerves on the outside of the ears relaxing. Just feel all that stress begin to melt away, down deeper, deeper deeper relaxed, feeling that golden sensation of relaxation floating down the back of the head, down, down, into the neck, down, down, 
down. All the muscles in the neck, deeper. The back of the neck, down. The throat, down. Relaxing all the muscles in the neck completely. Deeper, deeper. Feeling the relaxation go down, down from the temples and the ears, down, and across the eyes, deeper. Relaxing all the muscles in the eyes and the eyelids, down. You may even feel the eyelids flutter, just a little bit now, deeper, down. Down and across the nose, deeper, deeper, and into the jaw, relaxed. And as you allow all the muscles in the jaw to relax completely, allowing your teeth to part ever so slightly deeper, 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 relaxed all the way out to the mouth, relaxing across the upper lip, down, the lower lip, down, the tongue, deeper. Relaxing all the nerves, all the cells in the mouth, relaxed. All the gums, even into the teeth, allowing each and every nerve in the teeth, calm, balanced, completely relaxed. And as that relaxation flows down the throat and the neck, down, into the shoulders, spreading out across both shoulders, down, deeper, down, into the upper arms, deeper, across the biceps, relaxing the top of the upper arm, down, and the triceps, deeper, the bottom of the upper arm, down, down, down into the elbows, down, down, down into the forearms, deeper, deeper, down, down into the wrists, deeper, into the hands, deeper, and all the way out to the tips of the fingers, the thumbs, down, all the way out to the index finger, on both hands, deeper, middle fingers, deeper, ring fingers, deeper, and pinky fingers, deeper, 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 and deeper relaxed. And in this wonderfully calm, composed, clear, and focused space, down, taking another slow, deep breath in through the nose, holding it for the count of three, one, two, three, exhaling, and relaxing all of the muscles in the upper chest, down deeper and breathing easily deeper down from the neck into the shoulders down into the spine relaxing the spine one vertebrae at a time down 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 and across the upper back deeper allowing all of the muscles in the upper back stretch out to the left and stretch out to the right Relaxing all the muscles in the upper back down, letting them melt, 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 away. Down, down into the mid-back, deeper. All of the muscles in the mid-back, stretching out to the left and stretching out to the right now, deeper, down into the lower back, stretch, stretch, down into the lower back, relaxing all of the muscles, all the cells, all the fibers in the entire back, all the way down into the lower back, down into the tailbone and into the pelvis, relax, deeper. Taking another slow, deep breath in, holding it for the count of three, one, two, three, exhaling, Relaxing all of the muscles in the lower stomach and abdomen. Relax. Deeper. Down. Down into the upper legs. Relaxing the thighs. Deeper. Relaxing the hamstrings. Down. Relaxing the knees. Deeper. 
down into the shins, deeper down into the calves, deeper down, 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 and into the ankles, allowing the ankles to relax completely. Down, down into the feet, down into the feet. Allowing that relaxation, the golden liquid light to spread out down and across the feet, across the tops of the feet, down and into the toes, deeper down into the heels, down, down. And across the soles of the feet, relaxing through deeply into the soles of the feet, deeper. Allowing that relaxation to go so deep into the soles of the feet, feeling like the most relaxing, calming, comforting, rejuvenating foot massage you've ever received in your life. Deeper. Deeper. Deeper relax. And in this state, of complete relaxation, you can begin to imagine a treasure chest. And in this treasure chest, you can place any stray thoughts, any worries, any concerns, any distractions. Should they come from inside your own mind, any self-talk, any negative chatter, or should they be distractions that come in from the outside, outside noises, Feelings, sensations, smells, tastes, even light, down. You can simply imagine taking a snapshot of this distracting thought with a camera, folding it in half and placing it in the box, placing it in the box now. You can imagine taking a snapshot of the distracting thought, folding it in half and placing it in the box. It will be there at the end of the session, should you want or need it. Anything that's unhelpful to you now, during the course of this session, you can place into the box now, or later on during the session, it will always be within your reach. Deeper. Go ahead and place any thoughts, any concerns, any distractions that are unhelpful to you during the session. Place them in the box now. Deeper. And as you place them in the box, you notice that the box is at the very top of a beautiful staircase. The most beautiful staircase that you've ever imagined in your life. I'd like you to go ahead and take 10 steps down on that staircase down when I count down from 10 to 1, allowing yourself to go 10 to 100 times deeper with each and every step starting now. Taking the first step down, 10, deeper, 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 relaxed, 9, down, deeper, 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 relaxed. Eight, ten to one hundred times deeper now, taking the next step down, down, down. Seven, deeper, 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 relaxed. Six, down, down, five, deeper, down, four, deeper, deeper, three, relax. Two, relaxed, to even move. One, deeper, deeper, deeper relaxed. 
down at the bottom of the staircase, you find yourself in a beautiful, round, white room. And as you look up, you notice the domed ceiling of this beautiful, white room. And you lay back down on the floor as slowly the floor melts away. The white goes dark and the open sky opens up before you. You're deep in space. And in this wonderful place of deep, deep, deep space, floating, 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 the most important New Year's resolution that you have comes to mind, comes to mind. Relax. Now, I'd like you to imagine your body and I'd like you to imagine in your body there is a line and the line represents your past and your future. It passes through your body. Now for most people, their future is behind them and their past is front of them. And you may find that it passes directly through your chest or through your head. Or you may find that your past is in a different direction and your future is in a different direction. You may find that your past is to your left and there, your future is straight up. Or you may find that your past is to your right and the future is to your left. Or you may find that the line passes diagonally through your body. But whatever way your timeline passes through your body, I'd like you to imagine for the moment that you could float up and out of your body and look far, far, far into the past. And you can see each year of your past. You can see each success that you've had throughout your life from the moment you were born. The little successes and the big successes, you can see them clearly now. And as you float up and you turn toward your future, looking down at yourself today, you can see off many years into the future, one year at a time. And you can see all of the successes that you've achieved far, far, far into the future as well. All of the wonderful things that you've done for yourself and for others along the way becoming more and more aware of all of the positive things you have achieved and will achieve in the future with each and every breath you take. Slowly now floating into the future, you notice over the next year, I'd like you to begin floating toward one year from today. Begin floating toward one year from today and I'd like you to notice all of the little successes that you achieved that allowed you to achieve your New Year's resolution. See them as you pass by them, one at a time. Notice many of them you had to try at, at several occasions before you got it. Some of them came much more easily and naturally, but you never gave up. You stayed the course. You did exactly what you set out to do. And as you approach the point of one year from today, I'd like you to float back down into the scene where you have successfully achieved your New Year's resolution. And I'd like you to see that new you, the new you one year from today, that changed you, that improved you, that you that has achieved your wildest dreams and your deepest desires. That you that is absolutely amazing. See that you now. And as you see that you achieving amazing things more and more with each and every passing day, you feel relaxed.
relaxed, relaxed. Float down into that scene with the new you. And I'd like you to have a conversation with that you one year from today, that you that has achieved your resolution. I'd like you to learn everything the new you has learned. I'd like you to absorb each and every lesson that that new you has learned. I would like you to learn from the new you everything you need to know to successfully achieve your New Year's resolution. Take a moment to do that now. Good. Now, when you come back to the present time, you will retain everything that you've learned, everything that you've heard, that you've seen, that you've felt, that you've experienced, that you've absorbed, and bring it back to today to allow all of those things from your subconscious mind to immediately take hold, allowing you to make better decisions, both consciously and unconsciously, in your day-to-day -day life that will make it unavoidable to achieve your New Year's resolution in a far faster time, in a far easier manner than you would have ever thought possible. Taking a slow, deep breath in now, thanking the new you, for all their help in achieving this goal, floating up into the air, going backward in time to the present, slowly floating down into your present body, reabsorbing all the thoughts, all the lessons, all the experiences, everything that you heard, that you felt, that you sensed, that you experienced, bringing it back to the conscious and unconscious mind now, slowly, slowly returning into the room, Returning into the white room and slowly as I count, as I count from one to ten, as I count from one to ten, returning fully back into the room, only as quickly as you can fully integrate and activate each of the suggestions that you've received here today to help you achieve your New Year's resolution into your unconscious mind, where they will become instantaneous and automatic upon awakening. If it is the time for you to be awake when we return fully back into the room, then you will be wide awake, alert, and refreshed. You'll feel better than you felt in a very long time. If, however, you're listening to this at night, and it's time for you to drift off into a warm, sound, peaceful, and restful sleep, you will find it easy to do so. While you dream, these suggestions will take firm and deep hold in your subconscious mind, making it easier and easier to achieve each and every change you wish to achieve in the upcoming year. Beginning now. One. Two. Taking a slow deep breath in. Three. Four. Exhaling, rolling back the shoulders. Five. Six. Just stretching out the neck, rolling the head around. Seven. Eight. Stretching out the hands and the feet. The arms and the legs. Nine. Oh, taking another slow deep breath in. Exhaling and ten. Eyes open, awake and alert. Feeling absolutely incredible. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I hope that you really enjoyed that session. Please, by all means, in the comments below, please let me know what you set as your New Year's resolution. And then come back and let me know when you've achieved it, because it's going to happen far faster and far easier than you would have possibly thought. This is Talman Knudsen with The New Hypnotist. I hope you visit us at thenewhypnotists.com and you get a chance to see what we're working on in the upcoming year. It was really, really, really wonderful having you here as a client today, and I'm looking forward to working with you for years and years to come. Now, if you need to go drive somewhere, 
somewhere, drink some coffee, take a cold shower, shake yourself off. Otherwise, just chill out and, and relax and enjoy this blissful state that you're in right now. But if, if you need to kind of get back into wide awake alert awareness, definitely you know, do some jumping jacks, run around the building or the house a little bit, whatever you need to do to kind of get back, back into a wide awake state. All right. Again, this is Tom with the New Hypnotist thanking you, and I look forward to an awesome, awesome year. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.